Dom here from Essential RC. Thanks for tuning in for another video. This is a clip of me demonstrating the quite recent XF C20T three axis gimbal and the XF head tracker for DJI O3. And in that video, I went through how to assemble the gimbal with the DJI O3 camera, how to wire it up, how to configure it and how to operate it. Well, I fitted it to the Atom RC Beluga and this was my first flight. Uh, no sound captured on DJI O3, but um, I'll commentate over the top. So successful hand launch and then straight into acro mode and an auto tune. Unfortunately, the lens protector uh, that came with the C20T, um, I didn't fit that properly. So apologies for the corners that are black. That is because of that. And I have corrected that now. But you can see basically I'm in auto tune now. So what I'm doing so that the flight controller and iNav running on the flight controller sets the throws and everything correctly is that I'm doing loops and rolls to making sure it captures the extreme movements. But you notice already I'm using the head tracker. I'm looking around, up and down, and uh, using all the telemetry. So it really does give you that natural feel of being inside the cockpit. Looking left, there is the flying field, our nice mown strip down there. And you can see I've got so much telemetry that I can use here. And I see this as you're seeing it here in my FPV goggles. I have got a pitot tube, an airspeed sensor. So the top left, you're seeing airspeed. That is A and then GPS ground speed next to it. So fast pass down the strip. Uh, and then altitude below that. So climbing now 130 feet um, below that, you can see how much throttle, the throttle percentage, so about 70%. G is the G-force. So not pulling too many Gs. 1.3, 1.4 in the turn. Uh, then below that, there's a gap, and then it shows the amps, which is always interesting to review after a flight. I'm cruising along 20 amps. Overall pack voltage, the average cell voltage and the milliamp hours capacity consumed below that. My flight time, my distance from home and my total flight time. So um, this was a really nice flight, I have to say, for a first flight. Uh, got the auto tune uh, done pretty quickly, what I needed to do. And I just leave that on, to be honest, until I get to the ground and then put the sticks to the down outside corners to save pulling a loop again over the top here comes the ground now one thing um my canopy um the transparent plastic canopy that came with the atom rc beluga was a bit scratched up but you can see those scratches but it's not too bad it's usable but I do, they're going to send me a replacement uh, after Chinese New Year. They didn't uh, quibble about that. They offered me a, a, a few pounds refund as well. But I really do want it. But you do notice the glare. I mean, the sun. It was a very blue sky day. The, you know, the sun was very bright. But, it, you know, it doesn't prevent flying. And here I am coming in for a landing, nice and easy, keep the nose up and just let it land and skid along the ground. Very, very easy. Uh, should be saving the auto tune now, do that. And then you can see the the summary on when you disarm. So 85 miles an hour maximum speed, average of 50, maximum distance 1.2 kilometers. Um, 
max altitude 578 feet just to note that we are allowed we have unlimited altitude where i fly at this club what is interesting below that uh, minimum battery voltage 20 volts maximum current 79 amps and um, that would have been on a full throttle pass max power used capacity out of a 5000 milliamp power pack was 2330 so um, quite a long flight time uh, and uh, didn't use too much uh, maximum g4 7.8 well i wouldn't have passed out if i'd been in the cockpit but it would have been um it would have been a bit painful i suspect <laughs> for my body anyway but there you go uh, I think the SF head tracker and the C20T gimbal for DJI O3 worked really well. Um, I'll put the links in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.